Hi everyone. Welcome to the machine learning playlist. In this playlist, we have already covered some of the probability basics like conditional probability and total probability. Now we are going to use probability to do the classification using the naive base classifiers. So in this tutorial, I will discuss all the important points related to naive base classifiers and I will also show how it actually works or how it actually do the classification. So the core understanding of this classifier, which is a naive base classifier, is the base theorem. So we will first have to discuss what exactly is base theorem and then we can actually use it to do the classification. So let's see what exactly is base theorem. Now in the previous tutorial, we have studied about conditional probability. And from there, we have come up with a formula, which I'm going to write here. All right, so basically before writing the formula, let's uh, take an example of a data set, which we will use to do the, which we will use to do the classification, right? So basically we will create a program or a classifier, which will be a sex classifier. And what it does is it finds out the uh, whether the given student is male or female. And in the data set, we are given some attributes like height, let's say weight, and let's say we have foot size. And then we have the output Y or the sex, which is male or female. So let's say I'm given a data set, something like this, right? Which has these attributes, height, weight, foot size, and sex. And here we are given some values in the data set and we are given whether the student is a male or a female, right? So in conditional probability, we have the formula, which we represent as P of Y P of y given x is equals to probability of x intersection of y divided by probability of x. Now this is the conditional probability and now we are going to see what is Bayes theorem. Now in Bayes theorem what we say is we can, if we know we actually know that probability of y when we are given some x, so x is given to us. So if we can find out, if we want to find out the probability of probability of x given y, we can actually do that. You can see that I'm just using the conditional probability to write this formula. And what I can actually do is I can take this equation as one. And from here, I can find out the value of P in uh, X intersection Y, which will be P Y given X multiplied by P of X, right? So P X given Y from here, from equation one, I can write probability of X multiplied by probability of Y given X. And in the denominator, I have probability of y and basically this is known as the base theorem this formula that i have written this is the base theorem and basically it states that if you actually know the probability of y given x you can actually use it to find out the probability of x given y and vice versa right so let's consider this data set that we have and let's try to make uh, an analogy with the this data set of how we can actually do the classification using the, the base theorem, right? So now you can see we have some uh, features here, height, weight, foot size. Let's call them as uh, x1, x2, x3 till xn, right? So we have all these features. So x basically represent the attribute or you can say feature set, right? So we are going to assume that X is a 
feature set which consists of height let's say height is x1 weight is x2 put size is x3 and so on now y is the output which is represented as a sex which is male or female right so y can be a male or a female now what we will have to do is we will have to use base theorem to find out whether a given student is a male or a female when we are given some height weight and foot size right so what we are interested in we are interested in the probability when where we want to find out whether the given student is male or a female given some attributes right so given some attributes we are interested in this one we we are interested in finding out the value of this right from here you can see if i want to find out this one in the base theorem it will be written as you can see this is p of y given x so i'm just going to multiply this with this one probability of y into probability of x given y and probability of x will go in the denominator so it will be probability of x so basically we are interested in finding out the probability of y which is a male or a female so i can write it as like this that what is the probability that the given student is a male when we are given some attribute which is the height comma let's say weight and foot size something like this right so this is what we can use to find out the probability of y given x so that's why it is known as the naive bayes classifier and one important point about naive bayes classifier is that it states that the features features are conditionally independent right so they are conditionally independent which means that they do not depend on each other so height weight foot size they are all independent features all right so you can see that in this uh, equation which is this one in this equation we have we are given some we we can find out the value of probability y given x when we are given probability of y probability of x given y and probability of x so basically since we will have some uh n number of features which is x1 x2 x3 we will have to rewrite this equation such that it considers all these features right so we are just going to write this equation now since the features are conditionally independent we can actually write it in the form of a equation which says that p of x given some y so if we are assuming that the features are conditionally independent we can actually write the this value p of x given y equal to the product of goes from i equals to 1 till n number of features that i have probability of x i given y so basically this is the conditional independence equation so we can actually replace the given probability which is probability of x given y which is in this equation you can see that you can replace it with this one and you can see that this equation will consider all the features that i have so you can see that this part which is this one is basically probability of x1 given y multiplied by probability of x2 given y and it will go on till probability of x n given y right so we can actually rewrite the base theorem with this equation using this equation we will just replace the value of p x given y with this one and in this manner we will be able to get these we will be able to consider all of the attributes and then the equation that we will get is known as the naive bayes classifier so basically i'm just going to write rewrite the equation that we are interested in finding out the probability of y where we are given some x right is equal to probability of y into 
instead of writing probability of x given y we are going to write it the product of i equals to 1 goes till n probability of xi given some value of y divided by probability of x so i have just replaced it now we can use this to do the classification and that's why it is known as the naive base classifier this is actually the just the base theorem we have just used the conditional independence equation to replace it and you can see it will consider all the attributes and then we call it as a naive base classifier because now we can use it to classify to do the classification